So you want to know how I made my Studio Tour with 360 video and ambisonics audio all mixed from a mono lapel microphone? Well, you better buckle up, because here we go. I use the Ricoh Theta S360 camera with ultra wide angle lenses, which you can see on both sides. I clicked the Rode Smart Lab Plus microphone and plugged it into my phone to record with the RecForge app. Recording with this 360 camera leaves you with this weird dual fisheye looking footage. So I dragged this into the Ricoh Theta S app, unticked any corrections as I used a tripod, and ended up with a 360 monoscopic video. I then took the lapel audio from my phone and started playing it over speakers in my room, wait outside the room for the cue points to then come in and interrupt myself. Ended up with the same fisheye clips which converted into the monoscopic format. I then printed and cut out a 360 degree protractor and fixed it to where the camera was located. I wrote 0 to negative 180 degrees on one side and tied a string for the center point of the protractor. I then took the string and placed it where I stood, and this is key, as it allows me to record down the exact degrees in ambisonic space to place the sound asset. Once I recorded down every single location in the room, I moved into Premiere Pro and opened a new project. I then opened up a new sequence and used the VR template for monoscopic video. I chose the option with ambisonic's audio track and showed that multi-channel mono media was set to adaptive. I then inserted the video and audio and synchronized the two together. This is where I switched over to the audio workspace to show the effects and sounds section. To the mono lapel track, I added the special effect of Pana Ambisonics. This now allows me to input the angles recorded by the protractor. For testing playback, I had to utilize the special effect of Binauralizer Ambisonics to simulate turning my head and looking in that direction. However, as at this point I noticed that the spatial outlay for the video and audio did not sync up in Premiere Pro. So I conducted hours of testing and came up with some notes. I concluded that all the angles were out by 90 degrees which meant that on your 4-channel track, the polar patterns for the X, Y axes were essentially switched. So many, many hours of editing pursued, and I ended up with a whopping 22 4-channel ambisonic audio tracks, all individually positioned in 360 space. This allowed dialogue to play out between myself in the same room to create an immersive interaction. Now, I did make it easy myself, and I went back into the cinema room to record tilt coordinates. I then mapped out the entire room to convert Atmos speaker placement into ambisonic space. This was enabled by using the same panner effect to enter in tilt angles for any heightened speakers. Once all channels were completely mapped out, a visual and audio demonstration of Dolby Atmos was conducted in ambisonic space, which took a lot of time. Finally, I recorded a Foley track of Bruce running down the hallway with the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. After 30 hours working on this project, the 30 second export is complete and we are done. Oh, and you also want to know how to put three of me in the same room? Well, let me tell you. Just kidding, that's another video. <laughs>